Introduction to the Ride Teledentistry Video Conferencing Cart. The Teledentistry Cart is a mobile teleconferencing unit that can bridge remote sites with the University of Washington School of Dentistry or other entities. Using its built-in telecommunication features, the CART can assist providers in the remote communication of dental health care training and service needs. The RIDE Teledentistry Video Conferencing CART consists of three main components, the portable CART unit, the laptop, and the intraoral camera. The CART unit consists of a touchscreen, video codec, speaker, camera, adjustable frame, and base. Through the touchscreen, users can answer and make video calls via Zoom. The touchscreen displays the contents of the Polycom Group 310 codec attached to the back. Attached to the bottom of the screen is a speaker, which has volume controls on the right-hand side. On top of the screen is a video camera. It can be adjusted in any direction and has a lens cap to hide the video feed and protect the lens when not in use. The angle of the touchscreen and components can be adjusted using the tilt adjust handles. The height of the touchscreen and components can be adjusted using the pedal at the base of the cart. The cart is positioned on wheels, allowing easy portability. The wheels have built-in locks, which can keep the cart in place while in use. There is a cable wrap near the bottom of the cart. The power cord is also located at the base. Each cart is shipped with a Pelican carrying case containing a Dell Latitude 3390 laptop and Acteon SoproLife intraoral camera. The laptop connects to the unit separately through an HDMI cable. The intraoral camera connects to the laptop. It is recommended to have the laptop placed on a flat surface while connected to the cart to ensure it does not fall over in case the cable is tugged. When connected to the cart, content from the laptop, including images from the diagnostic intraoral camera, can be displayed on the cart screen during a video call. All three components are utilized together to provide the full functionality and purpose of the cart. Initial setup of the Ride Teledentistry video conferencing cart. Before proceeding, ensure that the Polycom unit and laptop have a way to connect to the internet. The laptop can be connected via Wi-Fi or by direct Ethernet connection. For the cart, there are two power buttons, one on the top left of the unit and another on the bottom right, under the screen of the Polycom unit. To configure the cart and enable security features, Admin and user credentials will need to be set on the Polycom video codec device. On the on-screen menu, tap the menu button, accessed by touching the three lines at the bottom of the screen, then navigate to settings at the bottom right corner of the screen. Select administration, then security. Under the settings section, check the box for require login for system access. This will enable a login screen every time the teledentistry cart is powered on. On the same window, under the Passwords section, you will need to set an admin ID and admin room password by tapping on the corresponding fields. An on-screen keyboard will appear for inputting text. Similarly, set the user ID and user room password as well. Note the differences between the two accounts. The user ID and password will be used to unlock the general functions of the cart, such as making video calls. The admin ID and password can do the same. However, it also has access to the administration settings of the cart. For practical use of the cart, use the user ID. Only use the admin ID for changing the Polycom settings. When finished creating the accounts, Click on the back arrow at the bottom left of the screen to return to the main menu. A static IP must be allocated by your local IT administrator. The IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway are needed for this step. 
If you are unsure about getting a static IP, contact your local IT department. Otherwise, if a static IP is not needed, feel free to skip forward to the next section of video. To start, tap on the menu button, then navigate to Settings. Select Administration and enter the admin credentials. Next, tap on LAN Properties and then IP Address IPv4. Under the IP Address IPv4 section, use the IP Address drop-down box and set it to Enter IP Address Manually. This will allow the fields to be edited. Enter your static IP information, including the IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway. When finished, tap the back arrow at the far left of the screen until the main screen. To confirm that the Polycom unit is using the static IP, the My IP area at the bottom left of the main menu should reflect the static IP that was set. You can also try navigating to the web interface of the unit by entering the static IP address in the web browser of a computer or laptop connected on the same network. If the web interface loads, you have successfully configured a static IP on the Polycom unit. The address book is useful for creating a one-tap button for calling into the Zoom room. Do note that these settings must be configured through the web interface of the Polycom unit. Review the previous steps for setting up a static IP to easily access the web interface. Otherwise, if a static IP was not set, you will use the IP address listed under My IP on the main screen of the unit when it is connected to the network. If there is no IP address displaying, skip forward to the troubleshooting section of the video. To access the web interface of the Polycom unit, Ensure that the cart is connected to the internet with an IP address displaying at the bottom left of the main menu. On a desktop or laptop on the same network, open a web browser of your choice and enter the IP address of the Polycom unit in the address bar. Hit Enter and the web interface of the Polycom unit will load. You will be prompted for the admin credentials of the unit. These are the same admin credentials as signing in to the Polycom unit. Using the navigation pane on the left of the web interface, select Manage Favorites. This is where you can make the contact list. Select Create New Favorite. This will open a new section to enter details. Enter the room and dial number in the first name and IP address boxes, respectively. Click Save to create the favorite. When complete, the Zoom room will appear in the Contact section of the Polycom's on-screen interface, which is located by tapping Place a Call, Contacts. Confirm that the dial numbers appear correctly on the Polycom unit by pressing Place a Call, then Contacts. Out of the case, the laptop is set to Factory Defaults. Your institution's IT department can re-image the laptop to cater to your site's preferences, if desired. The laptop can be connected by a direct Ethernet connection or wirelessly by Wi-Fi. If going wireless, ensure that it can connect to the local Wi-Fi network without issues. It is advised to have the laptop automatically connect to the site's network from power or sleep if connecting to Wi-Fi. A CD copy of the SoPro imaging software was included in the Pelican carrying case along with the laptop. By default, the installation files within the CD have been placed on the desktop of the laptop. The SoPro imaging software allows users to capture and record intraoral images with the diagnostic camera. It must be run first before using the camera. Note, the intraoral camera can integrate with other imaging systems as well. If you are interested in utilizing it with a specific imaging system, you must inquire with the imaging system's developers for further information. To begin using the SoPro Intraoral Camera, open the software and ensure it launches properly. Connect the SoPro Intraoral Camera wand to the laptop using the USB cable. Once connected, select or create your patient. 
To test if the camera is working, have a patient selected, then go to the Capture tab and select Twain Source, Twain SoPro Video. This will launch the capture window with a live preview of the camera's view. Operating the Teledentistry Video Conferencing Cart for a Zoom Call. The University of Washington School of Dentistry RIDE program has purchased a Zoom meeting ID specifically for clinical partners to use for teledentistry. This Zoom number is shared with all teledentistry cart recipients. To ensure the Zoom meeting ID is open and available at the time you wish to use it, visit the Google Calendar to reserve your meeting time. Information regarding the shared Zoom meeting ID, including the shared Zoom meeting password, host key, and link to the Google Calendar, is listed in the Ride Teledentistry Cart Setup Guide. Before making a video call on the cart, you will need to make sure the teledentistry cart and laptop are both configured and connected to the network. Making a call on the teledentistry cart is done via the on-screen menu of the Polycom unit. From the main menu, tap the Place a Call button to open the dial pad menu. If you have the address book set up, you should see a list of rooms you can call into under Contacts. Tap the call button of the desired Zoom room to join. Otherwise, enter the dial number of the Zoom room using the keypad. Once called in, you will be prompted for the meeting ID. Tap the on-screen menu, go to More Touch Tones, and use the on-screen dial pad to enter the meeting ID. Enter the passcode if necessary. If you are the host of the Zoom meeting, you may need to claim host privileges for the meeting. To do this, when the call is initiated, you will be prompted for the host key. Once the host key is entered, you can control who is allowed into the meeting. You will be prompted to admit participants as they join the meeting. If you are a participant of a Zoom meeting, once you call into the room, the host may need to admit you into the meeting. Once you have joined the meeting, the audio, video, and microphone will be enabled and the participants will be able to see and hear you. To adjust the volume of the cart, use the dial on the side of the attached speaker. To adjust the volume of the cart's microphone, use the on-screen volume buttons. You can adjust the angle of the camera by twisting the base and positioning it to your preference. The screen is also adjustable by using the handles and knobs around the sides of the screen. When the Zoom conference is finished, tap the Hang Up button on the on-screen interface to end the call. During a Zoom call, you can tap the on-screen menu to bring up video controls. In this section of the menu, you can adjust the audio volumes of the meeting, including the overall sound of the meeting and microphone volume. You also have the option to mute and unmute your microphone. You can adjust the screen to various layouts by tapping the PIP layout options via the on-screen video controls. Users can choose to share their device's screen during a Zoom call by clicking or tapping the Share Screen button. From the teledentistry cart, this can be accessed via the Video Controls menu by tapping on the screen during a Zoom call. Note that the button to share the screen is labeled as Content. When Content is tapped, a list of inputs that can be displayed will appear. Tap on the appropriate input to display. To stop displaying the content, simply tap the Stop Content button on the screen. If you are the host of the meeting and an attendee needs to share their screen, you may need to grant them permissions to do so using the host controls. To display the laptop contents, Connect the cart's video cable to the input display port of the laptop using an HDMI cable or display adapter. If the content is not automatically displayed, tap the Polycom unit screen to pull up the video controls. At the bottom left, tap Content to display a list of inputs. Tap PC slash Dental Cam and the laptop content will start to display on the call. Once the video cable is connected to the laptop, 
The laptop and Polycom unit will detect the connection and display the content to the call automatically. The SoPro camera is an intraoral camera that can display and capture high quality intraoral images for diagnoses and treatments. To display the contents of the intraoral camera, connect the wand to the laptop and launch the SoPro imaging software. When the software is fully running, it will automatically detect the camera and be ready for use. Once you are connected to a Zoom call from the cart, follow the steps to display the contents of the laptop. The on-screen content should then display the SoPro imaging software along with the live feed from the SoPro camera. For operating the SoPro software and intraoral camera, refer to the SoPro Life training videos located on the physical CDs that came with the box or on their website. Zoom calls can be joined from a wide variety of devices. These include personal laptops, tablets, or smartphones. To join a Zoom call from one of these devices, the user must have the meeting invitation link or meeting room number and password prior to the meeting. To join via a meeting invitation link, users will need to click the link or navigate to the link using the device of their choice. On personal devices or laptops, when users click on the link, they will be prompted to install or launch the Zoom client. Once installed or launched, they will be taken directly into the meeting room. Mobile device users will have a similar experience, but instead will be directed to the device's app store to install or launch the Zoom application. In the event that there is an issue with the teledentistry cart or a need to return to factory settings, refer to the troubleshooting section in your Ride Teledentistry Cart Setup Guide. For any technical issues with the cart, please contact the University of Washington School of Dentistry IT. Thank you for watching this tutorial.